All right, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back. I just got a new chair, a new uh, a new chair that's not broken. So you guys will be thrilled about that. How's the back support? It's actually very good. I spent extra and got the extra back support, the nice back support. Gazzy three, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Billy, thank you so much for the gifted sub as well. You guys are the heroes we need. All right, so <clears throat> one thing we want to do is. If you guys were here for the last video, which you should be, this is going to be like a part two of us testing for the Twitch Rivals uh, tournament that takes place. Uh, if you're watching the video on YouTube today at 1 p.m. Eastern, <clears throat> does it have the message? I assume you mean massage, and I don't know. I mean, no, the answer is no. I, I do know. <laughs> Hold on, let me actually update this this donation goal because you are utter maniacs and you guys help me survive and live my life okay so <clears throat> we we're going to change the charter courses to treasure maps and just give us like which is pretty good we could also even we could actually add sailor of memes to this i don't know if it's good I'm on a conference call and can't hear you, but I just got out, got, got you a sub. Wave if you read this so I know. You got me a sub? What does that mean? Like a sandwich? I don't love syncopate in the deck because you're always tapping out. All of your cards require you to tap out. I would rather just have more cards that, that we tap out for. <clears throat> Which might be... treasure maps I mean we are testing it so we can just take out the syncopate and put more treasure map it also helps us cast things and scries and all it does all the things we might actually take one search out as well with treasure maps but I'm not sure I kind of want three treasure maps not four and I also do like um, I like rekindling phoenix but I don't like that it doesn't pair well with deafening oh it's so nice to be able to sit back in my chair again without hearing it break the other one, the the hip apparently the hip pivot joints on Herman Miller Aaron's, uh, they do they do wear out after a while, so you have to get them replaced. But they only cost like twenty bucks. But when it breaks on your chair, it's one of the scariest things ever because you're like, what's happening right now? I also looked up dragon, and there weren't even that many dragons in standard. Shut up and take my money. One new chair buck, secret alien. Thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate. It. Are we at are we at seven fifty one? All right, so I'm actually gonna. Let me fix this goal real quick. Goals. Donazione goal. End donazione goal. Uh, we're going to go to January. Rent. Uh, zero, 01. And what? Zero, 01 slash 31 slash 1. Two, zero, 2019. Good lord. That's scary, dude. <coughs> uh, all right. <clears throat> and there are 31 days in, in January. Yeah, all right just checking i always forget that so all right so uh i like demanding dragon how come arcades isn't showing up though so like there are other dragons that are not being shown to me green perhaps no mythic perhaps i don't understand why these other dragons aren't showing up what is this what does this circle do i actually don't know what this does a circle a gold circle do I have to decode this? I don't understand. What does this add? What does this one do? Is this cards I don't have? Okay, let's do that. Aren't they showing all the colors? Yeah, like where's chromium? <clears throat> so how come when I take it, so when I add it, when it's highlighted, it shows me three. When I take it off, it shows me more. So that's weird, right? Because it's like, it's showing me the gold cards now. But then when I put the gold cards on, it only shows me the gold cards. And it's also not showing me things like Chromium. What's going on? What does this one do? I don't know what's going on. How come it's not showing me Chromium? I have all the colors selected, so I don't understand. <clears throat> I'm a little confused on this crafting system. 
Oh, I have to change the filter. Oh, that's unfortunate. So I can't even make a chromium right now if I wanted to. Well then, I'm gonna buy some packs then, and yeah, let's save and exit. Okay, that's fine. I actually like having one chromium in the deck. Get packs. Uh, let's get 2019 because, well, you know why. Because they got maybe I'll just open a chromium. Pal oh, did we just get a wild card? I think we just got the wild card for it. Palaka Worm, not what we're looking for, but two wild cards is nice. All right. Chromium one time. Come on. Come on, Daddy. Oh, I said that's kind of weird. Anyway, we'll figure it out. Oh! That's a Chromium. <clears throat> Alright, so let's go back to the deck. With 26 lands, I feel like a Chromium is actually totally fine. Uh, four Chromium Dragons, sure. Okay, so now it should be here, right? Because we have wild cards, right? So I would assume... Chromium should. Why isn't it showing up? Like it's it seems too confusing. Like I'm sure I'll get it if I exp if it's explained to me. But it seems too confusing to not just show up, right? Click the lotus icon. Okay. There's a bone dragon. Okay, I think we did it. Now we figured it out. There's a Varix blade wing. Maybe that guy's good. Actually, Varix might be better than... Eh, it's just a 4-4 four, four for 4, though, if you don't have... Like, Rekindling Phoenix is better. Even if you deafen and clear on and kill your Rekindling Phoenix. <clears throat> what does Vivictus Asmati do? 6-6, six, six, when it when it attacks each player, choose a permanent that player controls those players, sacrifice those permanents, each player sacks the rules, top card of the lottery that puts on the battlefield if it's a permanent card. Palladium War is not terrible either, but... Meh. Why are we not playing green? We just... Uh, the mana base is pretty pretty tough as it is. Yeah, one Chromium in the deck seems amazing. I'm game for that. <coughs> okay, so now we have three treasure maps, one Chromium. Um, significantly different now. So let's actually try it like this. Alright, cool. So let's go back home. Uh, let's play a traditional constructed, and we'll do it again. We got this. Okay, so the deck is a little bit different now. We added a chromium, and we added some treasure maps. So, also, I kind of like Sailor of Means in the deck, just because it's a one-four. It's 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 a good way to it's it's something good to do on three mana, just like Sarkon and Dragon Horde. It does ramp us to five, or it just gives us a fourth mana if we somehow don't hit it. Um, but. It's also a 1 4, so it blocks everything and it survives Deafening Clarion. Yeah, we did take Syncopate out. <clears throat> You're not waving? There you go. Um, You know, this is a good hand if they actually we don't have a black, but it's a good hand if, they, if they're playing aggressive things. I think it's fine. Oh no. I feel like mistakes were made now. Actually, Lava Coil is still good. Eldest Reborn is still good, so. Should be fine. Like, it's weird to only have two counter spells in the main deck. And none other. Like, so it's weird, it's weird to have just two syncopates and nothing else. No, well, alright, well. That did it. Okie dokie. Well, we don't have any three drops, so we're just going to play Steam Vents here. And all our lands should come into play tap now, so that's good.
All right, so we're definitely lava coiling this boy. Playing a steam vents. So now we do have chromium mana, which is pretty sweet. That Drake is dying. That's true. That is a true story. That Drake is not long for this world. I know I said it before, but thank you guys so much. Vili, uh, Secret Alien, Josh, and Badger, you guys are super awesome and super generous. Um, Guardian Links, also, if you're still in the chat, Jake, thank you so much for uh, the modern stipulation donation. Really appreciate that as well, dude. <clears throat> um, so we have three ran. I'll just add the blue. Actually, this is a blue and this is a red, so we can add that. We play a Dragon's Horde. And then this means next turn we can play Niv-Mizzet. And even if it doesn't resolve... Oh, it's under the battlefield, so... Uh, it does. It's always going to resolve. That's his... That's his, that's his thing. He always resolves. That's what the deck needs, Chromium? That we, we put one in, though. Josh, we I think you just missed it, that we actually just put one in, so that was pretty sweet. Perfect, that's you. Billy, don't even worry about it, man. I mean, like, if you want to get on Patreon, you can get on Patreon, but, like, you're, you're, the level of support you provide is, like... There ain't no question for that, buddy. Don't even worry about that. But, like... I am curious, uh, do you know the status of the care package? Because I just want to make sure it's not lost in transit. What does this get back? Instant? An opt? That's not very exciting. Uh, it's your boy. And we get to draw a card too. That's unbelievable. Somewhere close by will deliver pancakes. What a time to be alive. My god. Are you going to flip this? I bet you flip it. Oh my god, having this brand new Herman Miller Aaron is just unbelievable. Brand new. Uh, not going to wave at you, Rob. Not going to wave there. Uh, what do we get back? Tormenting voice? Sure. All right. There's a lot going on here between Search for Esconta, Mirari Conjecture, having two Arclight Phoenixes in your graveyard. <laughs> Alright, draw a card. I'm mostly a lurker, but I appreciate the content. Uh, Secret Alien, like you you are a sub and you gave me a gave me a bone today. Really appreciate all of it. Yeah, no one's ever required to say anything. Like, if you guys don't want to chat, you don't have to chat. If you guys want to support the stream, stream with a sub or some bits or whatever, that's totally cool. I, I have no, uh, I'm not very picky in that regard. I'm not going to, never going to be like, you should do this or that. If you just want to watch, that's, that's cool too. I love you guys all the same. Gave me a bone today. <laughs> that's the phrase you're going, <laughs> you know, when you put it like that, maybe not, maybe not. Yep, you got it. There's a lot of things happening right now. So we're going to draw a card. If they if they go to play something, we're going to shoot this guy, and then we're going to draw a card from Dragon's Horde and shoot it again. And then it's going to die. And now we have, what, eight cards in our hand? Yeah, that's, that's, not, that's a reasonable amount of cards. <coughs> So our deck is basically drawing a bunch of things, and their deck is bunch of cycling a bunch of... Okay, they're dead. Yeah, and if Miz, it's a pretty insane card. It just drew us four cards. Yep, that's a real thing that just happened. I'm going to bring in Thief of Sanity, because maybe they don't have removal for it. Deafening Clarion seems bad. I'm going to bring in Thieves. Um, Frasca's Contempt seems good. Invoke doesn't seem great. Dive down could be good, but a lot of our guys survive anyway, so we already have one dive down. I think that should be fine. <coughs> I Crackster, what's going on? So 
This is the first time I watched any standard in months, and I must say the Invisible is insanely powerful. It's nuts. Yeah, it's a good card. It's a good card. Oh, this hand's definitely a keeper. I thought we took the Rekindling Phoenix out. I guess not. Which is good, because now we have a Chromium and a Rekindling Phoenix, so that's good. One more thing. It's from Forrest Gump. Wow, maybe I watch Forrest Gump later. That sounds good. Yeah, so I don't want to spend 100 again on delivery and have them fail, so I'll get it with me when I get it... Get it with me when I come back to the States and then ship it from... That's actually a great idea. Nah, don't even worry about it. It doesn't have to be a Christmas thing. That's actually super smart. I, I think that's probably a better idea. And it's probably going to be cheaper as well. So, that's cool. I'm really happy to see you on MTG Arena. Although, a couple months when I asked if you were going to play Arena, you said no. Uh, yeah, well, I mean, it's, it's improved a lot since then. A good amount. What do you got? No Phoenixes in there, huh? All right. Well... I always had a question, if you don't mind, what's your connection with TCG Player? I always felt like you were a co- uh, I wrote and I was the editor-in-chief and community manager of TCG Player for 10 years. Well, 8 years. Um, so I was definitely uh, a, a long-term employee of TCG Player. <laughs> uh, I wrote two articles a week for TCG Player for about 6 years. So, if you felt like there was a connection, you were correct. And that dude dead. That that dude dead too. Um, actually, next turn I'm gonna keep this because next turn I can go land dragon's horde and lava coil on this guy, which is pretty good. <clears throat> a very public figure related to the brand seems actually, actually a lot of people would ask me and they'd be like, "Hey, I thought you owned TCG Player." Yeah, no, I was actually the face of the site for the longest time. I ran their Facebook account. I ran their Twitter account. Um, I was writing two articles a week. I was producing newsletters for them. Like, I did a lot of the stuff. So, yeah, I got to the point where people were like, I thought, you, I thought that was your site. And I was like, no, I just worked for it. I just worked for them. Yeah, them casting, like, radical ideas for full price is not ideal. Ugh, I really need to put an upkeep, a stop on my upkeep when we have treasure map, though. It's kind of awkward to, like... I kind of just want to exile this guy. Because they're tapped out. And they don't have anything else in the graveyard, so... Oh, uh, we can bottom this. We have white, and we have red, and we have six mana, so we're good to go. I'm going to put a stop during my upkeep just so we can do this, because we're only going to play one of these anyway. With all the new artifacts, could Karn be good in here? Maybe? But we only added treasure map. Treasure map's the only artifact we added, right? We had Dragon's Horde and treasure map. I like Karn in general, but I kind of want more threats. Like, I feel like our card advantage is pretty good. Like, with Nicobolus, Niv-Mizzet, Dragon's Horde, treasure map. I feel like the card advantage portion of the deck is, is strong. So the only thing I feel like we're missing is threats. Like, because our, our real threats were before I, before I added the, the Phoenix and the other dude. Um... Our only threats at the time were four Nicobolus and three niv -Mizzets. So. They are tapped out. What did they do with their mana? Just like literal nothing? Did I miss something? One, two, three, four, five, six. I don't understand. <clears throat> oh. Uh, yeah, let's go to the main phase. Oh, because it's all, it's all part of one. So, yeah, that makes sense. Oh, and then Radical Ideas. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. All right, sure. I'm going to draw now, because if we hit a different land, we can play that. I can also just play land and play this, which seems better than... So, like, w by, by sacrificing a treasure, we're drawing one less card off of Treasure Cove. But we're also getting an extra scry out of this. So it's kind of like you're trading one turn draw for one extra turn scry. And that's fine. Dragon Bullets and Dragon Sword is kind of like build your own um, disinformation campaign. Uh, I will keep that on top of my library.
Yeah, that's fine. Hey, Saru, thank you for the bits. Vacation holiday bits, so let's get this party started. Too late, buddy. We're already doing it. We can actually go one, two. We can actually play this as well, but I don't feel the need to. I'd rather just draw a million cards. We have Dragon's Horde, and we have Treasure Map. Like, there's a lot of things going on here. Karn's Minus is a threat. That's a good point. You gonna Banefire this guy? Uh, I guess I'll shoot you in the brain. Man, I wish... See, this is where you... Wish this is where a dive down would be nice. So maybe we can hit our one dive down. Wouldn't that be gas? Oh, I got real excited. I thought it was for a second. Uh, Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. I mean, it's it's good enough. It'll do. Okay, so let's draw one of these. They have one card in hand. Yeah, that's pretty good. So if we go one, two, three, I guess we're just gonna play treasure map and then we can scry immediately. Uh, bottom. Yeah, that seems like a good a good use of turn. I'm gonna say graveyard for this. They're gonna draw a card, which is fine. But I wanna hit Eldest Reborn more than anything. Oh, we didn't. Oh, I guess. Oh, God, I always forget the treasure map. Um, I'm gonna discard Dragon's Horde here. Oh, well, now I wish I'd discarded the other thing, but what can you do? Let's get rid of this dude. They get a card, but they lose a Niv Mizzet, so. It is what it is. Unless, of course, they have a counter spell, which I did not anticipate, which will be really busted. God, Nim is such a broken magic card. Just don't have a counter spell. Just let him die. I think you just I think you just whip it off, right? Wow, to my face instead of the Sarkon. That's a bold strategy. That chicken cooks itself. Does it stay a colorless land for the rest of the game? All, all lands are colorless. What are, you, what are you referring to? The treasure crow? Yes. Oh, main phase opt is great for us. I'm just like, that seems good. Oh, God. You're so good at this game. Can we just win with a Sarkon ultimate again? Because that seems cool. That's, I guess not. Yep, we'll, we'll keep that guy. That'll do. Let's resolve. Put it on the library. Uh, this time I will transform. Because we can play the other one and we can also start uh, doing, doing good things. Let's go to our main phase. Arg. I'm still gonna keep that on top. Let's get rid of Dragon Skull Summit. Play search. And we can actually other search too, so. It seems good. I feel like we're in good shape. Why it tapped both of our treasure coves and we can't draw a card is really sad. Um sure. 
That's a fine draw. So long, Sarkon. I mean, actually, if we hit... Yeah, actually, I'll just take another Sarkon. I was going to say, if we hit Vraska's Contempt, we could get rid of all these and play it, which is fine. You call that a hit? What's going on? It's not from it's not waiting on me, right? Uh library. Decline. So we basically have eleven mana. So we can actually go Niv Mizzet and then play. Uh, that guy can't be countered, so I'm going to actually play this first. So if their last card's a negate or whatever, it's fine. And then we can play Niv after that. Seems good. We could have also actually used one of these, uh, added two with Sarkon, and then still played Niv. That would have probably been better. So now we know they have... How much is Beacon Bolt for? I have no idea. It's probably like a literal billion. It's definitely enough to kill niv unfortunately. We have a lot of cards, though. We have, like, we have Dragon Sword to draw a card. We have tre two Treasure Maps to draw cards. 11 Instants and Sorcery. They have 28, we have 31. They also discard card this turn. Uh, let's take that off. I think that's off. Remove stop. Okay. Uh, graveyard. Where's Chromium at? Decline. Well, that guy's pretty good. Oh, so now they discard both their cards. Yeah, that's gas. I'm having her draw a picture of Steve Urkel from <laughs> Urkel's recall is actually pretty funny. So we have blue and black pretty easily, so we'll add red and black. You gonna get rid of that last card? Search Res is pretty obnoxious here. Sure. So, we're going to play Watery Grave. Because it lets us draw, it lets us activate Search, activate Treasure Cove, and draw a card with, with Dragon's Horde. So, like, we have a million things to draw cards with. We should be able to draw three cards right now. Pleasant Kenobi, thank you so much for the raid, buddy. Really appreciate it. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. Uh, could we actually flip this? Maybe we actually should just flip this. Oh, but we have we have Eldest Reborn. I'm actually not too concerned with it. But let's activate this. Oh god, it always taps the stupid thing. All right, well that's fine. We're looking for a dive down here. We have one dive down, I believe. All right, well that's fine. Resolve. So we got to draw one less, one fewer cards than we wanted to. Sure. Yep. What are you getting back? Opt. That's so un. That's so uninspiring. Uh, we'll keep it Tefri. Decline to transform. Always declining to transform is where we are. I like it. I hate that it defaults to their graveyard because then I'm like, oh, well, I have to pick one of these. And then I have to pick my graveyard. I'm pretty sure it's actually just. Actually, it's a Nicol Bolas, right? And then we just flip it. I mean, Nib Mids is strong, but. Having a Planeswalker seems pretty strong, too. I don't 
don't know. I'm no expert. Um, now they have no opt. All right, so. That seems good. And now we can go uh, our graveyard again. We have Mizzet. And now we have all the things. Let's try to find a land. Yeah, we have it all right now. Um, Can I play this? I can. I could literally play a Teferi here. Did we activate you? We haven't even activated you yet? Yikes. Um. Yeah, this seems fine. Uh, so we got one, two, three, four. And we'll be in white. Let's say a white there, sure. I won't hide from the world any longer. Okay, they're just dead. <laughs> I guess Niv Mizzet, Sarkon, Teferi, and Nicobolus was probably too much. I don't know. This deck's doing cool things. I'm okay with it. I don't know what a Twitch raid is. Um, uh, we can go actually catacomb into... Yeah, this is actually fine. I wish one of these was like a... Shock land instead. Oh, uh, we go drown catacomb and then we go mountain. And then we go cliff top. Or we can play this next and then still have untapped things. Oh, that's a good hit. Wild Growth Walker, kind of obnoxious. Sure. I'm not actually going to use the mana. We probably should just play Drowned Catacomb because then it lets us play Teferi on 5 guaranteed. I guess we can play Drowned Catacomb next turn the same way. Wish we had something to play here, but... How do you like a Danto Vanguard? Is actually... I did not at all. We, we, had, we don't have a lot of... Uh, we don't have a lot of... Our deck is very minimal white and uh, it dies to a, like, Deafening Clarion. It doesn't have any synergy with, like, Sarkon or Dragon Sword. Like, it's just kind of a 1-1. One, one. Like, we're not attacking with it is the problem. Um, I wish Wall of Omens would be like a Wall of Omens type card would be utterly insane in this deck oh not using that wow that's pretty good well it doesn't kill the wild growth walker unfortunately but I just always pick both modes anyway. I'm never like, mm, I don't know what, I'm gonna pick both modes. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna play this now. Bottom Teferi, because we need an untapped land for any of the things in our hand. Are there any ritual of soot? No, because it's not a heavy black list. The black and the white are splashes. We're splashing black for like two Eldritch Reborn and three Varaska's Contempt, and white for three Teferi and four Deafening Clarion. There's only like nine black sources, maybe. There are 10 black sources and 7 white sources, so like, we also have 4 deafening clarions, so we don't really need, that was actually absolutely perfect. Badger, 100, 100 pride bits, really appreciate it buddy. Well, Eldest Reborn is dead. Sometimes restoration oh, Treasure Map is dead. Well, that's fascinating. That I was not expecting. 
Because now we can play a Niv, and Vivian can't really do much about it. And if they kill it, we just get it back with Eldest Reborn. So that seems good for us. Okay. Okay, so you've got claws. The wilds are my shield. That's a good dude. That is a good dude. Um Well, none of these are super exciting. Yikes. That is unfortunate. So one thing we should have done um, was we probably could have played Teferi tucked the the Wild Growth Walker. Do we just play? They have Carnage Tyrant, but like this is on two, so we can probably get away with one, two, three, four, five, six. We can probably get away with just playing Niv Mizzet here, number number two. I mean, Vivian goes to three, but. Like, if they play Carnage Tyrant, it's actually just fine, I think. Yep, that's okay. I think that's okay. Come to me. It's interesting that they activate Liliana after. Sure. Well, we are going to be attacking Vivian Reed, so... Or we're tucking... No, we're just like attacking. How do we survive this guy? Doesn't seem great. One, two, three, four. We can actually play both of these. We also just double block. I mean, we're not double blocking because we're actually killing the... One, two, three. Are we just dead? We might just be dead. Thank you. Fuck money. Thank you so much for 18 months in a row. Really appreciate it, buddy. Welcome, welcome. Um. So the problem is that if they have, they can actually go one, two, three. Get back Chupacabra. Kill this guy, and then ah, eh, no, we're not dead. We're we go to one. I forgot that we're at. But he doesn't have to do better than that because it killed you. <laughs> it doesn't even make any sense. Uh, Vivian was at two. She couldn't shoot down Niv when she's only at two. She went up to three with using the ability. Uh, no blocks. I don't think there's a difference between being at one and two right now. Oh, Jesus. Yep, that's pretty good. We're just hoping for double deafening Clarion off the top. That's not going to do it. Yep, that's not gonna do it. You know what? I'm not done. I think we're dead to double double dragons. I don't actually think we have an answer to that. Carnage Town is a real card, man. Do your worst. Madness. <laughs> Yep, that'll do. All right, so we can actually double block one; we'd be dead still. So, yep, we're gonna go to the next game. I think, I think if we actually Teferi tuck the Wild Growth Walker, force them to draw it again, uh, they they wouldn't be able to play Vivian and kill something. They would have actually had to play Vivian or Vraska's Contempt, and then we have Eldest Reborn with only them having Vivian on board, and the Vraska's Contempt kills the Vivian. So that actually changes the course of the game pretty sizably. Um, I think we want we do want star here. Let me take the dive down out. Bring out star. So I think out lava coil for star. I think that's actually fine. Let's take out one deafening Clarion. We'll keep the di we'll keep one dive down in. Oh, a little 
play first. Uh, wow, this is... I'm going to keep this hand just because we have Dragon's Horde and we have Treasure Map. So we can go turn 2 Treasure Map, uh, turn 3 Horde into Activate Treasure Map. So a lot of red, not a lot of blue and black, but... Actually, this should be all... Oh, no. Oh, no. Also, the deck is done, designed in such a way that all of our lands tap for either red or blue in order to cast Niv Mizzet, so... Oh, and they took our... That's rude. Well, I guess they're taking Dragon Sword too now. That seems good. Nice series of plays. Ah, joke's on you. Drew it anyway. A swamp off the top would be great. Or, uh, you know, a black source, rather. Alright, have to catch some Zs later. Billy, have a good night, buddy. Thanks so much for hanging out. Thanks so much for the help, the donations, the subs, all the things that you do. I'll see you soon, I'm sure. So all their creatures are just hitting lands. Eh, one, two, three. Sarkon actually survives this, which is nice. Feel the heat of Don't doubt my methods. Do you think this is worse right now, unfortunately? Yep, that's not great. <laughs> Don't stop now. It's actually not bad. Look to the sky. I mean, this guy's for sure gonna die, but... Oh, it didn't die. We could also play... Oh, we could have played Nib Mizzet there, couldn't we have? That's probably better, but this guy didn't die, so I guess that's fine. Yeah, that is a thing. Well, that's worse, because now we just wasted two mana last turn. So I summon you! Blue. I'm going to say no attacks here. I think double blocking Carnage Tyrant is probably more profitable here. This is a fine finality turn? That would be weird because then you could just put it all on this guy and still attack, right? Because this guy would be 9 and then you could kill everything. I guess Niv Mizzet would survive. So I'm just going to block here and let the Seeker Squire get through. I don't want to risk Niv Mizzet if they neg 4, neg 4 everything. Because this feels real fine finality. They would get to kill everything on our board, keep a 9 6 Carnage Tyrant. Yep, that's what we figured. Man, where's that Eldest Reborn now, am I right? I'm gonna play a land here. Let's draw a card. Madness. <laughs> what madness? This isn't a fight. We need to move quickly. Oh my god. Like, we're not blocking here, so might as well get in. I mean, I didn't I didn't foresee a situation where they had only Carnage Tyrant on board, so that's why we didn't keep the Eldest Reborn, but...
What do they get back? Two Dirtles? Sure. Well, you're definitely keeping that on top. Although we have a million Planeswalkers to sacrifice. Sure. Um, can we actually kill you here? One, two, three. Let's find out. I'm pretty sure we can kill you with an if it here. Yep, that'll do. All right. So we have a draw from Teferi, a draw from Sarkon, a draw from Lava, a draw from the other thing, and then we just kill you with an if it because an if it's amazing. All right. Well... I don't hate negate here. Yeah, let's bring in the negates instead of the dive down. Maybe I just want one negate in the main deck. Everything else seems fine. Ugh, this deck seems like it's real good. I like it a lot, but... Do you think running at least one detection tower in your land base would make contempt more viable into green? Uh, maybe, but we're not actually that poorly positioned against the green decks. Like, we've actually done very well against them. Um, yeah, I'm bottoming this hand. Keeping this hand. It's bottoming you. The problem is that you really don't want colorless land in this deck. It's just not ideal. You got it. Probably leaving that on top, I would assume. I assume it correctly. Oh, no, I agree with you. It's a good answer against Carnage Tyrant, but the problem is that, like, you really don't want to call this land, so. It's like, literally have to just make sure this comes into play tapped. Or untapped, rather. Swamp. Oh, not a swamp. All right. Pass to the combat step. Pass to the block step. Pass to the damage step. And we'll scry. Uh, I think that is what we want. No, it's not. We have nothing in hand, and we already have red. And yep, that's pretty bad. Yep, would have actually scribed that to the bottom as well if I remembered to do so. Watch, if the next card's like a negate, I'm actually going to be really upset. That actually would have been good, but I mean, it's still not... It's not ideal because like we wouldn't have been able to play it last turn anyway, so... Yeah, it just dies to Vivian Reed, but it's still a good card. Let's play Sulphur Falls. If it be. Oh, negate's so close. I mean, it's possible they don't kill this, right? Yeah, I think we're pretty much dead here. Again, dive down would be great. Yeah, we're actually not in terrible shape. Oh, 
That ain't bad. So three, four, we can play you. Just draw a card. You know what? I'm not done yet. Oh, I see. Well then. Uh, tap watery and sulfur, I guess. Actually, we could tap the uh, treasure code to draw another card. So that was a misplay. We're just like actually, I, I feel like I'm playing quickly on here because I don't no, actually no, want to time out. Like timing out kind of scares me. The the bar and being rushed. So we should have untapped the treasure cove. We want all the cards that we can get. And we want to not tie up mana on our turn, unfortunately. I think we're dead this game. No time for a break. I feel like this is not going as well as it could. Oh, got a land. Oh, goody. Goody! Actually, what do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We can play both of these, to be quite honest. And then we can actually keep up Negate. I mean, Vivian Reed is going to kill Nicol Bolas, which is really unfortunate. One, two, So, black, red, blue, whatever. Imagine they discard the swamp. Every time we breeze the fire, I always hope that their board is going to get wiped away, and it never does. I'm just like, oh, that's sad. Badger, have a good afternoon, buddy. Thank you so much for the support. Really appreciate it. Nay, I will not stand for it. <laughs> Get yep. that out of here. Wow, that's rude. Well, let's see what they do, I guess. Just you, huh? So we can block and we still he still dies, so Eh, no blocks. Well, we are out of cards, so we have, I guess we just kill 7, 8, 9, 10. I guess we just Eldest Reborn here. Yep, not ideal. We take 10, go to 4. Which is not ideal. How about a star of extinction? That'd be pretty cool, right? We boarded him in. Island good. That's pretty good. I do like an island. And we are dead. What are we missing here? Like, we have Moment of Craving. We have Lava Coil. Is that our second loss? No, that was our first loss. Okay, good. I thought we were done already. I was like, that seemed really fast. I feel like we want another black source. Like, we could probably take out a blue source. Minus one blue, plus one black. It might just be another Dragon Skull Summit. Um, this hand actually seems good. Watery Grave lets everything but the Cliff Top Retreat come into play tapped. Untapped, rather. So we'll play Clifftop first, actually, because then we can actually play Island into the other two if we wanted to. But this does let us Lava Coil next turn. I uh, guess we don't have to do that. So 
so they're gonna play Legion War Boss here. Hmm. Interesting. I've never seen this card before. Hostile Minotaur, 3-3. Three, three. What is this, just 3-3 three, three haste on deck over here? This is fascinating. Oh, Sulphur Falls is a good hit. Yeah, I almost like Sailor of Means because it blocks all of the, like, the 2-1s the, the and the 3-2s and the 1-4s. Like, it just blocks really well, and getting an extra treasure is nice. Oh, that guy's dead. That guy's dead. I don't want them to have two red up, though, when we actually cast Deafening Claire out, because... Well, that's just sad. Still risking it for the biscuit, and just... Alright, we did it. And that'll do. All right. The funny thing is the deck is running white for Deafening Clarion and Teferi. And I'm wondering if you could just run Ral and Ritual of Soot instead. It does kind of clog up your four drops, though. Which is not ideal. I'll take out the dive down. Bring it a moment. Take out... Yeah, Rekindling Phoenix. Bring it a moment. Take out Chromium, bring in probably their Deafening Clarion. That guy seemed good there. Thank you. Syracuse, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. I'm gonna keep this. We have an answer for something early, and then a third mana lets us play Dragon's Horde into Nickel Bolas. Drop this first. First person you ever sub to? Thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it. It means a lot. Uh, I don't think we care about this guy yet. If they play a 3 3 next turn, I'd much rather kill that. Yo, what's going on, buddy? Long time no see, man. Um, yeah, we'll just end the turn here. So this is what you're playing for. <laughs> good to know, good to know. Wow. Are you in the event? Because that's pretty hilarious. I didn't actually see you in the Discord. Oh, there you are. Have Clumpkin. Yep, I see you. Now you are... Well, no third land is unfortunate. Don't expect any free wins. Buddy, I would never expect free wins from you, sir. Not when there are prizes on the line. Oh, I see. Now all the good cards are coming out. Big Blue, thanks so much for hanging out. Really appreciate it. I'll see you later. This is not going to come into play untap which is unfortunate but eh, eh. Five. may have risk yeah I'll take action take action means I'm taking the action of having it the only four So, well, if we had lands, I feel like we'd be in better shape here, but missing two land drops on the red deck does not miss those land drops is uh, not ideal. Yep, all right, let's, let's try again. Yeah, another situation where Sailor Means would be great. Um, yeah, this is fine.
Oh no, they're speaking Danish. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna keep this because of double deafening Clarion. We're also on the play, so maybe that's fine. How's it going? Can you do me a favor and yell at my unborn son? We've been in the delivery room for 14 hours, but he's refusing to come out. Um, Indominus' is unborn son, can you do your dad a favor and, and, and hop on out? Okay, good game. Both sides played hard, and uh, we're good to go. Juposhi with the nine-month sub. Thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. Oh, an exclusion mage. I'm going to exclude that from any of my constructed decks is what I'm going to do. I appreciate that. Anytime, buddy. Anytime. Eh. Wow, watery grave dot deck over here. All four watery graves. Sure, that's a thing. If Yul's hair and Frank's hair were both in the same room at the same time, a portal would open up and you could travel through time. <laughs> That's pretty good. That's a solid meme there. Mr. Buck Mulligan? Who's Buck Mulligan? Is that uh, the guy who invented Mulligans? Well, we're just going to play mono watery graves here, I guess. Boy, once a red card comes along, this is going to be real awkward for everybody. All right, Glacial Fortress. Let's let's do it upright. Oh, a treasure map. How nice. Oh, I see what's happening here. We got a little Ali Eldrazi deck up in here. That's nice. This is 100% Ali's deck, yeah. They're, they're, you know, Cabal, Cabal, once you see Cabal Stronghold, Treasure Map, and Mastermind's Acquisition, you're like, well, we know what's happening right now. Oh, so many three. Actually, going to bottom you. You give me a red source, but we're far more likely to just hit red lands at this point as well, so. Well. Sure. Are we just going to win with, like, a chromium? Because that seems pretty funny. I am not going to sit this one out. Hold that thought. All right. You missed my donation? One, get out of there, Buck. Get out of where? What's where? When was this? Three minutes ago? Was that your opponent? Oh, sure. You can take my deafening clarion. Deal. Oh, that's sad. See, that makes me sadder. That's less fun that you would do that. I thought we were good friends. And, uh... Stop that now is right. That's just rude. Alright, pass to combat. Pass that. Do one of these jobbies. See, look, I, I want to... Oh, can I actually... Alright, there we go. So, let's... I'm going to keep this on top for obvious reasons. Uh... Draw. 
Okay, so six mana. Can't chromium. We can nickel bolts. Seems good. Oh, get out of there was for the baby. That's great, actually. That's significantly funnier. Uh, sure. Uh, get rid of. I yeah, sure. Yeah, we can get rid of the water grave. Island's never going to deal us damage, and we're actually pretty well stocked on black mana. So. Are you looking for an answer for my nickel bolus? I hope so. I appreciate the group assist with the whole stubborn onboard child situation. Glad to hear it. There's a lot of mana they're going to make. What is this? It's eight mana? Nine mana. Okay. Okay. So, yep. You can go get a Vraska's Contempt. Exile this gentleman. Which is okay. But uh, this guy is going to be problematic. Also good. Sure. Well, this is no bueno. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, we'll have seven. Yeah, this is fine. get back? That's the question. Also, the other thing about Sailor of Means is that it gives us something to sacrifice to Eldest Reborn that isn't one of our best creatures, which I really, really like. Oh, man. This is worse. Oh, this is so much worse. Yeah, you can Is it better to have the Eldest Reborn make them sacrifice this guy and discard a card, or is it better to have the Chromium? I think it's better to just get rid of Chromium here. I mean, they get to get it with Eldest Reborn, which is actually pretty bad. But if we don't have any cards in hand, then, I mean, it's pretty easy to kill for them as well. So it's kind of like, neither situation's ideal. This is definitely a negate matchup. This is where we bring in the negates. I kind of want a third negate in the sideboard. Let's go add the negate. Yep, that's good. Yeah, because against these control decks, we just don't. We have a lot of removal, but not a lot of not a lot of things to take out, or a lot of things to take out, but not a lot of things to put in. I guess we can have the moment of crisis. I mean, I assume they get Tefri here. <laughs> Chromium seems good as well. Yeah, Chromium seems pretty unbeatable. You really that choice. 
Actually, maybe I should have gave you Golden Demise there. That actually seemed better. Pass. Mm -hmm. We're going to draw Niv Mizzet ready. Okay, Sacred Foundry, sure. You get hexproof, huh? That's pretty good. Hexproof is a good mechanic. Why isn't this? Why? Are, oh, we're not in the main phase yet. Sure. Okay, that's a good reason. Hmm. I don't know about all that, but I mean, Tefri's gonna die either way. Hurry. They're just gonna make this guy, so we might as well get a card out of it. Alright, so we can get a Teferi, a Nicol Bolas. How many cards do they have? Four, and one of them is a Moment of Craving, which is pretty easy to get rid of. I think we just get Nicol Bolas back and flip it, right? Try to, anyway. And we also did not scry, which is unfortunate, but we can not do anything. This guy's so dead. No way this resolves, right? Okay. That's actually a good sign. Shows you're digging for something. And you Oh, we had it? Doesn't matter. Oh, I have not submitted any decks yet. Not sure how we actually win this game. They have a chromium. They have our chromium and a Karn, and unfortunately, I don't think this chromium is at any risk of getting destroyed. We're also getting back a Varaska's Contempt, which we can target this with, but we'll have taken 14 damage by then. They also have two clues. Varaska, fine. Better than a Demon Lord Bell's Lock that we can't really deal with here. It's does post a 22, which means it's three hits instead of two. However, they have a lot of card advantage here. Yeah, we're gonna go to the next game. Alright, so we're taking out Lava Coils, taking out Deafening Clarions, we're going to bring in other Vraska's Contempt, two Negates, which I want more of, uh, two Invokes, two 
to Thief of Sanities. I think that should be fine. I don't care about Star here because it's just... I guess Star is good for the land. Actually, maybe Star is pretty good. Oh my god, that Savannah meme is hilarious. Uh, no black mana and a Teferi. Hmm. I think we can do better. I think this is better. Uh, I'm going to bottom this even though we really, really want it because we want to be able to play. We want lands. Our phone's gone. Yeah, maybe this might be a quick. This might be a quick uh, little league here. Definitely think Sailor of Means comes in. We also want more negates. I also like duress in the sideboard. But we don't have. We're not heavy black is the problem. I do like the idea of Bane Fire as well. Uh, graveyard. Land, please. Well, it counts. If we get, like, a watery grave, we can play Nicol Bolas on... on command. Uh, I'm gonna graveyard this, because we want lands here. And we did it. I would actually uh, kill one of these, but they don't do anything, especially when our opponent has three, so. Yep, yeah, we'll keep that. Let's pass the turn. Keeping that too, all right. Ya yeah, boy. This is where they play Eldest Reborn. We do get to invoke it, though. Or they get to do that. They have one card in hand. I don't feel like we're that out of this game. Although, them exiling all of our threats is pretty rough. Does the Stainful Stroke seem better? That's a good question. I don't know the answer to that. We can actually Star of Extinction here just to get rid of a Karn. I'm actually going to keep that and we'll just do it that way. Oh, yes. Oh, it's your boy. Yeah, see, this is where one Bane Fire would really shine. Oh, biscuits. I will fight for my friends. Are you certain of your decision? 
Yep, you can have that guy. Eldest Reborn is... How do we know what has... Oh, because they have, like, a silver counter, sure. Does this do anything for us? Not really. I think we can also flip this. Yeah, let's transform it now. Oh, we did good, but then... Oh, yeah, because they can't get theirs. Oh, yeah, that's great. That's gas. Your efforts are futile. But they're not futile because I killed you. Let's skip to the good part. Doesn't even make any sense. Uh, let's untap. Light source has Kanta. So we can activate the Ascanta if they don't do anything. That's pretty nice. <sighs> uh, I think actually Sarkon's probably the best here. Let's just cycle. So we're, we're basically losing a, an Ascanta and a Teferi, yeah, which is fine. They have one card that isn't a Swamp in hand, so I ain't too worried about it. And now they have one card, period. Can easily discard one of these Stars of Extinction. Okay. And pass, I guess. What do we get back? We can get back a Karn. Or a Teferi. Yeah, probably getting back Teferi. Or Nicol Bolas, even. Ooh, Nicol Bolas is nice, because the one thing about getting back Nicol Bolas with Eldest Reborn is that you can immediately flip it, which is pretty strong. Did they not program the Planeswalkers to have answers when they're being destroyed? I don't know. It's kind of weird, right? Because their, their, their responses are as if your attack was futile, but you actually killed them. So it's kind of awkward. Huh. That is a thing. Well, I'm going to throw up my mouth a little bit. Do we have anything we wanted to do? I don't think so, right? Yeah, okay. Well, that's unfortunate. I'll give you one fewer card. Some of that. Wow. Wow. Um... Blue, black, red, blue, blah, red, this guy. Well, they're tapped out at least, so we get this for a turn. My power is boundless. Target creature plans are from a graveyard under the battlefield under your control. Let's get Teferi. Draw a card. Keep up the pace. Yes. <laughs> uh, we'll discard discard water grave here. And untap these. I had invoke, I could have untapped for the invoke, but what are you gonna do? It's a lot of mana. If they have another star, it's pretty bad, but I imagine they're going to put Eldest Reborn in their hand. That seems like one of the better options. Yep. What are we getting rid of here? It's probably... It's probably Sarkon, unfortunately. This is really hard to see. Why is it over here on top of the Planeswalkers? There we go. <laughs> okay. 
Well, they solved for that. That's not bad. You want to fight? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I wish I kept a white up instead. Oh, they got rid of our Eldest Reborn. How nice. Treasure. Treasure map. During a lunar eclipse, you can get lucky. <laughs> it's actually pretty funny. Yeah, it's actually pretty funny. So we have three. Let's draw two cards here. I always have an answer. Let's immediately invoke this guy. We need to move quickly. Oh, it's a big tap. Um, so we'll play this untapped. Play a treasure map. This feels good. Tap the mark and this one, sure. Well, they're back down to two cards, which is kind of surprising. I did not think that would be the case. Definitely thought we were dead this game, but it does not look like to, not does not look to be the case. Dive down might just be better as a negate. Like it's gonna counter a lot of the same things in our deck. Yeah, I like it. It's but it's infinitely more versatile. Yeah, I like dive. I like negate as a dive down. Our deck doesn't really have a problem with creatures. Oh boy. Resolve. Frasca's contempt. Bloodfast. Sure. Well, now you get rid of Nicol Bolas, I guess. This also does not save a Planeswalker. Yeah, this is all bad. All the bad things are happening. Maybe not. Sure. Um, don't need you. Oh god, I would have done it again, but I always forget. That's a really hard interaction to keep in mind. You know what? I'm not done yet. We also could have done it now. Alright, so Teferi still lives though. Let's do it now. Totally late. Uh, it's just me not being familiar with the treasure mapped interactions. Um Star of Extinction, but it seems bad. Might as well do it next turn, see if they want to overextend anymore. Let's invoke this thing while they're tapped, mostly tapped out. Yeah, 
dive down being negate is really strong. We got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. We can actually play this and flip him and then kill Bells and Lock. I actually think that's probably pretty good. If they have an answer, though, it's pretty bad. Let's cancel that. Play land first so we're not losing our things. And we'll try it now. One, two, three, four, five, six. That should do it, right? Okay, it's not waiting on us. I mean, they've used a bunch of Vraska's Contempts. So. Okay, we did it. Uh, let's deal 10. Actually, hold on. Is there a better answer? Can we get anything good? No, not really. Ah, oh, okay, that's a good that's good to know. Um that it will float the mana. Man, this match is grindy, dude. Oh, this is actually fine because we can shoot this guy too. Wow, new visits a really powerful wizard. Oh, they're just adding a million there. 15 mana, huh? Are you just gonna bane fire me? Duress? Sure. Yeah, this dive down's been bad because we don't have that many creatures in our deck. It should definitely be negate. It's okay, they only have 14 mana left. Oops, they said. Oh, wow. Oh, we could have actually played this first. Biscuits. They have three. No, I was like, they have three cards in the deck? Oh my god. After this, I'm actually going to pass. Give me one second, guys. I got to use the restroom real quick.
All right, we're back. Did I do it? Did I miss anything? We'll play a land for the turn. All right. So, wasn't sure if I'd have time to do that, but. Niv-Mizzet here seems pretty strong with Dive Down. Now the Dive Down seems good. 20 to 17 cards, <laughs> so. <sighs> Yeah, that's unfortunate, but we can't really do anything about it. And we still have two Planeswalkers on the board. Again, would love for this to be a negate. Yeah, this is this is too narrow. Dive down's too narrow. I'm glad we figured this out now. However, we do get to still save our Niv-Mizzet. 20 cards versus 17 cards. Carads. Targeting whom? Targeting Nicol Bolas? Fascinating. Yes, you yeah. They might actually know about Dive Down. They probably do, actually, in fact. Uh, resolve that, but don't go to my turn yet. All right, cool. Okay. Uh, shoot in the face. Card. Shoot in the face again. My turn. Shoot you in the face again. Let's play land. Let's draw a card. Shoot you in the face again. No time for a break. There is no time for a break. He's right. Uh, let's attack. Unfortunately, you have the thing, but maybe you don't use it. I don't know. I guess we'll find out. We can also dive down, save this guy. play land this turn? I don't know. Guess we'll figure it out. We did. Guess it was end of the turn. Sit that. Seems good. Uh, New York was alright. Boy, I sure wish I had a negate.
When did our sub goal go from get to zero? Why is our sub goal in zero? That's pretty awkward. Actually, seems like there's a Twitch issue right now because I have zero viewers, zero followers, zero views, and I think the information pulling from. Wow, are we just dead? Does this just literally flat out kill us? That's pretty good. It's pretty good. All right. Well, that's the end. So we're definitely making some changes to this. I will claim these prizes. Oh, a Nightly Valor. Oh, a Foul Orchard. And a Dream Eater. That ain't bad. All right. On that note, let's go to uh, over here with these Dragon Boys. All right, so what are we, take, what are we changing? I'm gonna take the Dive Down out. And take the Dive Down to the sideboard. Just gonna add another Negate. I kinda just want two Negates in the main deck, I think. I'll take the Phoenix out. I'm gonna add Sailor. I add two Sailors here. So this is 60. What else do we want? One Banefire somewhere. I think we can take one of these out. I don't even know. Like this is a good card, but like we actually, I don't feel like we actually need it anywhere. Just put a bane fire in the sideboard. Do we want discovery dispersal? Not really. It doesn't really do much, and I don't want to splash any more black cards if I don't have to. Probably another moment of craving, actually. I do like negates. Um, actually, do I even need the moment of craving? I don't think so. We added sealer means. I just want another another negate, to be quite honest. Four negates seems pretty good. Or like a disdainful stroke. Disdainful stroke seems good. I don't. I don't think I want Karns. I'm gonna be honest with you, man. There's no room for Karn. Like we have a ton of planeswalkers and card advantage. Uh, cancel. So this is 60 and 15. Okay. So I think this is the final the final list. I might do one more. But uh, either way, if you guys are uh, were watching this video on YouTube, this is going to be the final list that we're going to play in the next round. So thank you guys so much for watching. really appreciate it. Send those like and subscribe buttons. Check me out on Patreon and on Twitch. Both of the links are in the description below. You can also support me at meundies.com slash franklaporte. You'll get 15% off along with free shipping and free returns. And you can go to Aaron Kane Custom Deck Boxes as well. His work is amazing. If you guys are looking for any real wood uh, deck boxes or cube boxes or anything like that, he also has dice holders, pens, all kinds of things. And they're all handmade. And he has over 40 different types of wood. His work is incredible. So definitely check that out. Um, the link is in the description below. And if you use promo code Frank, you will get 10% off. So definitely use that. Check that out. Um, but yeah, hit those like and subscribe buttons. I will see you guys next time.